These are the prints, Moda Italia from Bruno Mark. Same style, different color. These are the formal Oxfords. And with that being said, the old coot here coming at you with another exciting shoe review. So maybe you're looking for some formal shoes, a little spiffy, a little schnazzy, you know, business attire, going out entertaining or doing whatever, going out on a date, you know, whatever the case may be. By the way, ladies, if you are watching this channel, I did put links there down there below to some women's shoes as well. So make sure to check those out. What I'm basically saying is I got you. I got you <laughs> because I know if you're shopping for your significant other, family member, whatever, you're interested to see what the women's shoe lineup is. So those links are down there below as well in the description section. Anyways, with that being said, let's take a look at these. So here are your barcodes real quick if you want to see them. Print 6 is what they're calling this. Moda Italia, like dress shoes, dress Oxfords. Basically same model or same uh, style, just different model. These are the brown color. And in person, these are a lot darker. I know I'm having troubles with my camera shading and lighting and all that good stuff. But anyways, in person, they are a little bit darker than what you see here. And just a touch more red, like a little more of like, not a burgundy red, but just like a, a just a hint of red on top of that brown. And then this is your barcode for these guys. These are your formal Oxfords different toe as you can see the styles are a little bit different so let's let's go ahead and delve deeper into these shoes let me go ahead and show you these first these are beautiful gorgeous right dancing business attire you're going to be you know in an office setting or whatever you just want something formal to wear around the house let me show you what they look like uh from side by side so here's your toe shot here's your like higher shot so you can go ahead and see that and get an idea of what they look like on the top and then basically here's what they look like. This is the nice little quarter shot so you can kind of get that kind of look going. And then here's what they would look like from the side. There you go. So you can kind of see what those look like. And then from the back, obviously, here's what they would look like. So you kind of get an idea. So there you go. And then here, rounding out again, there, there you go. Okay, so with that being said, let's take... A deeper look on the inside. Here's what the tongue looks like. Here's what the inside looks like, right? Size 12. If you are size 12, get a size 12. The sizing is true to form. What I love about these shoes is the padding and the cushioning. Like you really get a nice, you know, firm yet squishy heel section right there to absorb some of the impact. Also in the inside, if you notice, you do have some double stitching reinforcements and all that good stuff. There is some dimpling around inside. This is like almost like a faux suede, like you know, cow's hide type material, breathable. So your feet don't sweat. If your feet feel good, you feel good. That's basically the concept. Also look at how gorgeous that shoe looks. I mean, that's the first thing that a woman notices about you. If you care <laughs> is your shoes. If your feet look good and you're dressed correctly and your shoes are nice, they know that you're going to be worth it. Basically, it's the short answer. Ladies, am I right? If you're watching this channel, comment down below if you're a lady and you know what I'm talking about, right? If your shoes look good, you look good. Okay, so there you go. So let's take a look at the sole stitching right there. Beautiful, nice stitch, right? Very well done. Almost seamless. There you go. And then obviously, here we go around this, the heel section. You do have some nice stitching right there as well. Stitching around the edges. Very comfortable shoe. There's your double stitching, right, for reinforcements. You've got these extra little stitches right there. Nice little double stitching, reinforcement stitching, and all that good stuff. Here's what the laces look like. Then obviously, as you open these up and your, your, your actual foot's going to be in there and all that good stuff. Very nice pattern. Very nice work. Here's the other side. This material is kind of like a faux leather type material, but very well done. I like the dimpling pattern. It looks very realistic, very durable, very affordable. You know, shoes like this from other manufacturers are probably three to four times the cost. So here you're getting a great shoe at about a third of the price, maybe even less. Something that's going to hold up, right? It's going to last you a while and also looks great. Feels great. The comfortability, the comfort of comfortable ability. Is that the right word? I'm making up words as I go. Anyways, with that being said, let's take another look just really quickly on the inside. There's your Bruno Mark. You do have a laminated edge edge right there on the end so that your laces aren't going to fray. But typical, you know, shoe laces for a dress shoe like this. Great choice. Let me go ahead and show you what a side by side 
comparison would look like between the two colors. So like I said, you're in, in, in real life, when you look at these shoes, they're going to be like more of like a darker color like this versus like a lighter color like this. I'm just having troubles with the camera lighting and all that stuff. But anyways, here's what your shoes would look like. Same shoe, just different color. There you go. There's your, there's your side by side comparison. Again, here's your three quarter shot, right? In the movie industry, we call this the creep the three quarter ass shot. You see this a lot in car commercials when you see the very tail end of the car. I've done my fair share of Toyota. <laughs> the list goes on and on all the different car commercials that I've done. Okay. So anyways, here's what the color choice would look like there. There's your color choice there. Okay. With that being said, let me put these back. I'll put these up here and let's go more in depth on this color, this brown color. So there you go. Same, you know, same work, same great detail that they spent doing all of their stitching right near flawless as possible. There's your stitching in the heel section. There's your double stitching here, reinforcement stitches, double stitching up here. Great looking shoe, double stitching around this part that covers, you know, the, where your toes meet your foot, basically. That dark, that dark color, that's more accurate to how dark they're going to look in person with like just a hint of red. But there you go. There's that part. So now I can see all this. You do get around, I'd say around an inch of lift right here, plus maybe another half an inch or so from the padding that's in there in the inside. So if you want to, you know, appear a little bit taller, there you go. There's your lift. What I like as well is as you step, you do get a nice contact patch, right? So when you're dancing and you're on your toes, you know, light on your feet, right? That's the, uh, that's the goal here. You do get a nice contact patch. Let's look at the bottom of the shoe. And, and these are the same, the dark, the black ones are exactly the same pattern. But there you go. But there's your bottom patch right there. So you can see nice texturing, you know, I usually like to scuff up my shoes a little before I take them out the first time so you're not slipping and sliding all over the place. Just walk on some asphalt. That's a little tip for you is, you know, try to walk on like some some rough cement or whatever, rough cement or asphalt just to scuff them a little so that you get better traction. But you do have a nice little rubbery part back here, right, to give you that, that traction in your heel. And then there's your size again for underneath. And like I said, once you once you get just like a light scuff on these, they'll feel like a million bucks and you'll feel solid. Like your foot will feel like it's planted and in place and all that good stuff. Okay. For comparison, let's compare the Moda Italy, right? Print six. That's what these are called. Links will be down below in the description to the formal Oxford. So just so you can kind of see what the color and the style looks like just for different, for different variations. So there's what the two shoes look like right? Great stuff. Both of these are great. I mean, I would wear either one of these, like in an office setting, business interview, you know, formal night out, formal wear, you go into a nice, you know, holiday party, right? Black Friday is coming up tomorrow. So the sales and the deals are, you know, pretty much year round with this company. Like I said, you're getting great shoes, durable, that will last very stylish, very comfortable at a third, at least a third of the price is what other shoes would cost you. Like best bang for the buck, right? Highest quality we can find at the lowest possible prices. So there's your two shoes side by side. Let me show you now more in depth of what these shoes look like. So there's your toe shot, right? That's what the toes are gonna look like. Here's your overhead shot so you can kind of see what that looks like. Here's a more sidey angle. So you can kind of see what those look like. And then let's talk about the backs of the shoes and we'll take a look at that real quick. So there's what your heels are going to look like, right? Kind of get the idea. And then here's the other side. You kind of get that idea. They do come packed. Oh, also one thing I forgot to mention was all of the shoes that you're seeing, they all come with these individual socks, which is great to protect the shoes like from dust and lint and also to protect them while they're hanging out like in your closet, you know, on a shelf or whatever. People drop stuff all the time, right? You're reaching for something on the top shelf, something falls down below on the bottom shelf. At least this way, each, each individual shoe comes with its own little protective socks. So that's awesome. And I, and I do use those. So let's take a look. Was it this one? I think it was the other one. Don't let me grab the other one real quick. There you go. So let's take a more in-depth view. Here's what the inside looks like. So there's what your tongue looks like. There's your logo, your labeling, and all that good stuff. See if I can grab focus. True to size, you know, if you're a size 12, get a size 12. If you're a size 10, get a size 10. There's what the bottom inside looks like. There's your logo, Bruno Mark, New York. As you feel in there, a 
you know, that nice squishy first feeling, and then it turns into a nice firmness. So good for shock absorbing. You know, you're going to have that padding in there to protect your heel. So your feet feel comfortable. And like I said before, if your feet feel comfortable, you feel comfortable, you get the idea. To take a look more in depth look on the inside, you've got that faux like rawhide -y kind of material in there, that faux suede. Very, very comfortable, very, you know, breathable, as breathable as it can be for this style of shoe. You do have some nice double stitching right there, which is awesome, right? And then you've got the padding around, you know, your ankle and your heel section. So there's that. Here's the front of the shoe. Great transition, by the way. Loving my camera work on this. Okay, so there's your laces. Lace pattern looks great. There's your single stitch right there. Then you've got double stitch here, right? You've got a reinforcement point there, double stitching right there again. Great work on the stitching. This is also a faux leather. There's your sole stitch. If you can even see it, you can barely see it. See right there, you can kind of barely even see it. So this obviously blends in better, right? Than say this one where your sole stitching was a little bit more pronounced. Anyways, with that being said, Here's your heel section. You do get about an inch of lift right there, plus maybe another half an inch or so, maybe a quarter of an inch with the padding that's inside. So if you want to be a little taller, that's what these shoes will do for you. So there again, there's your double stitching in the toe section, right? Beautiful, nice shape and pattern. You know, the long toe makes your feet look thinner. Again, something else that ladies are looking for. You know, if you're going for a job interview and the human resources person happens to be a female or the hiring manager happens to be a female, they're going to look at your shoes, guys. They're going to take a look. They're going to see if, you, if you're worth the position the same way the position is worth having you. So... Each one justifies the other. So there you go. There's more of that, you know, double stitching right there, reinforcement stitching. There you go. There's the back section, double stitching right there in the heel, right? And then you've got, again, there's your pattern. The underside of these shoes, that's what you're looking at. This is more of like a rubberized material, whereas these were more like a, you know, particle, like a wood fiber type material blended with plastic. I believe this is more of like, you know, a harder rubber, but you do get better traction. There's your sole stitching underneath or faux stitching, I believe, underneath. So there you go. That's what that looks like, size 12. Here's what your heel looks like. You know, good traction. As you're stepping, love the curved toe, right? Because as you're stepping, you're going to get a nice contact patch right there. So as you're walking, how many times have you had to walk from your car to your office and it's a walk, it's a trudge. Well, at least you know you're gonna have traction and at the same time you've got protection and padding in there for a nice comfortable walk. So there you go basically. That's all the shoes in this video or at least two styles of shoes and then two color, two color choices between the styles. So these are, remember, the Prince Moda Italy, right? Moda Italia. Basically, that's the style. These are the two color choices, your, your black color and then obviously your darker brown color. And then these were the formal Oxfords. I will put links to all these down below in the description. And ladies, if you've made it this far and you're still watching the channel, comment down below and also check out the description section as well. There are shoes for the ladies down there as well. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing. Definitely hit the notification bell, wherever that is down there, because guess what? I've got more shoes <laughs> to be reviewed coming your way soon.